you must be pleased with that one and that performance. Absolutely. Delighted. You know, when I look at uh, the performance levels, the fitness levels, after uh, such a difficult uh, away travel and performance on Saturday, it makes it even more special because, uh, you know, I thought Saturday's performance was outstanding. Uh, but tonight's just top that. You know, a Graham Wesley team comes to try and dominate you and bully you, and uh, they couldn't get anywhere near us uh, in any aspect of the play. Uh, we ran all over them, we ran through them, we ran round them, we ran over them, we passed through them, passed over them. Our precision and work uh, was, was outstanding, and in every aspect of our play, it was pure dominance from, from the start of the game till, uh, till the very end. So, also two very good performances from both keepers. If it wasn't for theirs, we could have easily been four or five. A million five percent. For, I mean, I've just said to the keeper best, you know, and his, his dad, uh, absolutely outstanding. You know, he's one of the best keepers I've seen, certainly, you know, when I was in, working in the championship. And then uh, in the air, I think he's got a great, uh, a great size to him and, and absolutely outstanding. But, you know, great credit to, to Rob tonight, you know, and uh, the way he's come for the crosses and. Like I said, you know, they try and dominate you and put, put the ball in at different angles. And Rob's took great pressure off us tonight. I think it was, a, it was an outstanding performance from Rob. Um, you know, and I, but I told the players before the game, uh, I, wanted to, I wanted Danny May to, to influence the game, you know, and uh, his influence over the game was massive. Uh, you know, after 22 minutes, you know, they make a substitution because Danny's ripping it up down one side, Jonah's ripping it up down the other. So plan A turned to plan B, and they tried matching us up, but you know, you're know you not going to match this team up too easily. Uh, they're good players, they make good decisions, and uh, it was an outstanding performance. And, and for me, Danny, first half, has completely dominated that left-hand side, and, and he's given the right back turmoil. So you know, I wanted that win for, very important that the lads stuck together. I wanted it for Danny Mayer because uh, you know, he's, he's a special player. So they were quite a physical side this evening. How do you think the lads cope with that? You know, they, I think teams, you know, they try in this season to dominate us and bully us. I don't think they under, I think they underestimate how fit we are and uh, how how good we are at pressing teams as well. And uh, you know, we've got players who can mix it. We've got players who can stand up and be counted. We've got power in the team. We've got pace and uh, and precision. And like I said, it was a, it was a domination, a complete and utter domination. And uh, I'm delighted with, with with the performance. So that takes us to second in the league now. Obviously, Burton top going into Saturday's game. What are you expecting from that? You know, Gary Rowett is someone I really admire as a coach, manager. Um, you know, I think what he's done is put an infrastructure in. You know, he's demanded that they go to St George's Park. You know, a place of excellence, and uh, he's put a structure in place. And you can tell that from the way they set up and, and structurally, they're a very, very good team. Um, they don't concede a lot of goals, and all tonight, you know, they have done. It's probably a blip. But uh, you know Gary's getting courted for different jobs, and I understand why he's a young, up-and-coming manager who's very good at his job. So there'll be a disciplined type side. Structurally, they'll be good. Um, but if I'm being honest, you know we spend time on planning against the opposition, but we're really spending a lot of time, and I have done since I've come in on on getting our work uh, excellent and getting our our game plan uh, really up to speed, and, and we've seen evidence of that. You know after the Cheltenham game really and, and from, from every game since. So on, a, on another note, Joey Thompson this afternoon <laughs> tweeted that he's had uh, the all clear so far, his results have come good and his scar tissue is getting smaller, surely that's a good thing for you as well as him? Oh, you know, people underestimate what I think about Joey Thompson, I've worked with him for a long time, I've known the kid for a long time, I've got a special relationship with Joey and you know, forget the football, you know, when things like that happen, it's about Joey's recovery. Um, you know, and it's great. It's a real confidence boost for Joey. Um, the injury's setting back a little bit, but uh, you know we're determined to get Joey Thompson playing games for for our club. And uh, you know, at the minute he's, he's finding it difficult to get in a team that's winning, but supports the effort incredibly. Like I said, I, I only bring good people to the football club, and Joey's the first one to congratulate, stand with the fans, congratulate with the fans. He's, a, he's an incredible team player. That is one thing that Joey Thompson understands the word team, and uh, he represents his family. Uh, Quite outstanding there. Just going back to tonight, because how crucial was that early goal in the second half to pull them out a bit? I will Steve, yeah, Barry's goal, yeah, to um, ultimately the winner. I'd, I'd honestly, Keith, I, I think, I think we've, we've got too much for him. You know, mm. we had too much for him. I knew that before the game. Um, I'm not sitting here trying to sort of say I preempted it, but it's, you know, I, I think 
Gem was alerted to it. it, yeah, it was, honestly, the keeper, yeah. some of the saves were yeah. absolutely outstanding. Hmm. And I wouldn't have been embarrassed to go in sort hmm. of 4-1. Um, I think we got caught up in the melee that was uh, from, the, from the Kelvin incident. Hmm. And, and, you know, we switched off, which is not like us. And, and you know, went 1-0 down. But we didn't panic. You know, we didn't panic. We stuck to the game plan. We moved the ball really quick. The pitch was the best it's been tonight. Yeah. It was slick. It was quick. Uh, it's really thickening up nice. And, and the players now are... You know, they're they popping the ball about superbly and they just, you know, like I said, it was a, it was a complete domination in every aspect. I know you had the, they had the sprinklers on, didn't you, in so that one half until virtually the kickoff. Was that not part of the tactic as well? Not tactic, it's just, you know, you've got to grease your pitch up. Every team does it. Uh, you can grease it up to as much as you want. And, you know, we, we, we want to do, we're, we're a passing team. We're a team that... Uh, you know, likes to dominate with the ball, and um, it's, it's not really a tactic. It's just a case of make sure that that you know every detail's you know made you know right, and that's what we're trying to do. Three defeats in 22 games. Though. You've got that consistency you're looking for, haven't you? We have. We have, and I think you know people sort of underestimate uh, the structure of the team. You know, we don't concede a lot of goals. Mm -hmm. Probably least in the league now, uh, and it's happened since you know since from day one. The structure of the team's excellent. We limit the number of shots on goal we did last season, you know, for Lent, for Jens, and you know we have done this season for Rob. And it's difficult at times for a keeper when we're playing like that because they've really got to be switched on when they are called into action. Uh, but the, the lads, the the way they they work for the structure of the team is quite incredible. Jones is you know the, the distance he's covered. You know people couldn't say he couldn't play as a right back or a wing back, and he's just a winger. You know, a lot more strings to his ball. Uh, we've been working hard on training in getting him into goal scoring positions deeper, you know, from deep runs. Um, and Saws on the other side and Danny Mayer. So it's sort of, again something we have been working on, and, and he's took it on board. He, he just wants to improve, he wants to get better. But, I, I, you know, I probably singled Danny Mayer out from an for an emotional point of view. But the lads, you know, Nicky's energy tonight was, was outstanding. Dwayne Holmes coming on the pitch and doing what he's done. Uh, Tom Sawes and Kelvin in the centre of the pitch just locked it down and the three lads at the back the bravery shown was just immense you keep getting on the ball Pabs wants the ball all the time Nulls Nathan Cameron um, you know this 50% of that team who's, uh, who's out there tonight that, that was here when, I, when he arrived we've, we've worked with them we've got a development programme from them all and uh, they're pulling up trees you know Rob Rob Layton Nathan Cameron uh, Craig Jones Tom Sawes you know, Danny Mayer, these are players that have fifty percent of that team, they haven't been brought in. You know, they haven't you know, they've been they've been developed over over a six, seven month period and, and that excites me because that, that's where the club's going. I want it to be a school of football and uh, we're certainly making massive strides in that. You are. I mean, I was going to ask you what's your best side, but is there a best side? Because there's so many good players here. Uh, this, this, you know, I've, I've had to speak to Lloyd, Lloyd this week and last week about uh, you know, change of system, mm -hmm. Nicky Adams the week before, Andrew Tuck before the mm -hmm. game today, letting him know why you know I wanted to go with Sawzi and uh, and the, all they want to do is get a win, you mm -hmm. know, for the squad. We've got a group of players here that respect each other massively. Uh, if one of them steps out of line, then the dressing room will certainly uh, you know make sure it gets put into place and, and they're a good group. But we've got different systems, you know, I've got quite a few false strikers or shadow strikers that can play. You've said Dwayne Holmes excites me, you know, he's a player that I would genuinely pay to watch. Um Louis now he's he's bang one in. He usually have sort of um trends, Louis, you know, when he scores one, two, three, fours. So that's a great rhythm to be in. Nard's only played sort of three games and got a couple. So, you know, it's the competition's good for places, but there's a respect value when players come in, they respect each other, and that, that's important. You've got good players, we know that, don't you? Technically good yeah. players, but maybe you've, you've alluded to it there, well, you've said it there, and it's a very important point. You know, The actual spirit and the graft in the side mustn't be underestimated. Cameron's made a, almost like a goal saving block, really, in the first half. Jones is, I don't know where he gets his energy from. Nicky had mentioned as yeah, well. Yeah. You know, he could go they've on. Got, they've got a desire that, you know, if someone's gonna gonna play for Bury Football Club now, they've got to understand they've gotta they've gotta work as hard as you know what, what my staff mm. works and what the chairman works. I think the chairman set the the benchmark really at the football club, uh, he's a workaholic and that's one thing that we've said from day one that you know you've gotta represent the, the Bury badge and, and, and believe that you know you you've gotta run as hard as you can for as long as you can and then when you have done we can put you off and put someone on and run as hard mm. and I'll always see that because you know it was me as a player, and them's the easy things for me to spot. Some people say you know Dave Flickcroft he wants to move the ball and pass the ball around well. 
we work so hard on our fitness and, and it's shown and it's showing and it's improving. Um, but yeah, all, all the time. You, you can, to dominate on the ball like that and to and to then when we lose it press so hard you can you know there's there's a real base fitness that's growing. Yeah, I bet these guys are just such pressure, scared, and we said something else. Then when they lose the place in the side for whatever reason, or you just change something around, getting back in is a they, tough they, job. They don't want to lose a place yeah. because you know we've we've not had many injuries. We've uh, I've put a structure in place at the football club um, to support the first team and the first team squad, and the lads are professional. And you know we will be in tomorrow. We'll do our recovery work tomorrow. Uh, the, the detail that will go into that will be yeah. sort of nothing but intense and. You've got to do because I've got I've gone with a smallish squad. Mm. Uh, I'm only carrying two overloads in Joey Thompson at the minute in Pooley. Mm. Uh, we've got Joe Wins out, and you know I've gone for that quality, mm. but I've got to keep that quality on the pitch. Mm. Whoever whoever it is, you know we've got to maintain and be really professional um, and ahead of the game in, in all aspects of recovery um, because you know using 37 players costs money, mm. which it did last season. You know we've we've invested in a squad. Um, but we have brought real high quality performers in mm. who, are, who are performing at a massive level now over two points per game and um, we've got to make sure that we look after them players because they, they, you know, I do believe that they're, they're, they're outstanding players. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I look at some of those, because of Jones in particular, you think, how long can you hang on to this guy? You know, they, 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 <laughs> You know, you're looking at it, the damage he does from a, a right back. A, well, we'll call him right back. I, you know, right. I, I know you call him right forward. You like, but do you know what I mean? It's, I wouldn't like to play against him. I wouldn't because no. he's, he's non-stop. You know, and, and then when you think he's going to go on the outside, he'll flip you on the inside, <laughs> and it, he is, he's, he's, he's horrible. He's horrible <laughs> to play against. There is, and, and Nicky, you know, he's, what I've always loved about Nicky is his energy drive. Mm -hmm. You know, but now that last bit, I'm just slowing him down a little bit, so he, you know, he executes. The pass that I'm looking for, and it's still not right, mm -hmm. but but it's, it's certainly improving. I think he's got five or six assists now. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot to be, you know, be happy about. Uh, and then they won't get complacent. There's a squad and a staff. You know, we've had a couple of staff meetings now, mm -hmm. once or late last night. You know, we'll keep looking to of ways to improve what we're doing because you know, if you stand still and, and stop progressing, you end up someone else takes okay. over. Have you made um, any decision on James Poole? Just mentioned him before about keeping him longer. Not at the minute, you know, we've had talks with Pooley and that is somewhere I'd be prepared at the minute while we're strong to let out on loan, a bit like we did with Joe Widdison. Getting games, I think he's a striker who could go out and, and, and cause a nuisance and, you know, and, and do well for someone. So we spoke to Pooley, I'm in constant contact with the players, yeah. but and I always look at what's best for the player first and that usually then it's the best thing for the football club. And I think with Wids, you know, you've seen he's gone to a top of the league club and, and made, you know, five or six games. So. It's, it's work for us as a football club, and it's great that you know people do want our players. You know, when I first come in, uh, it, it was very difficult to get the players out, and uh, you know that's when you're growing a strong, a strong uh, football club. You know, when it's not costing you money to get players out, players actually, teams actually want to take your players off you to put in their team and pay you for it. So we, we get into a we get into a very business-like point in in everything we're doing, and uh, you know I run a team like a business. Uh, I've got I've got sort of business learning and business business acumen and it's something that you know it is it is our responsibility to run this like a business and, and I'm certainly doing that with the first team. As opposed to as opposed to sorry, I'm sorry. Just going to I'm just going about as opposed to the last couple of years where we were, we were paying people for other people to play there for various players. You know, it's, it's a big doing, change, isn't it? It's it's a double whammy yeah. because you give them a contract, then you might have to pay them a compromise, and then you've got to replace them with a loan player. So mm. it's a real false economy. <laughs> Uh, what we have done this season is we've gone early, we've invested early, um, you know, and, and and we've just got to make sure that with with the quality of play we've got, we've got to keep them highly tuned, highly charged, and and certainly, uh, you know, give them the best possible recovery strategies mm. that that we can. I mean, you look at Brendan Rodgers, you know, in terms of uh, Sturridge, you know, mm. he didn't feel that England gave him the right uh, recovery strategy, mm. so. We've, we, again, we, you learn you learn stuff mm. from from everyone. Went over to Man United. We've got some brilliant intel from them. You know, how, how sort of uh, the Dutch the Dutch coaches do it. So mm. we're learning, we're progressing, and uh, I've got a chairman that when I come back with an idea, uh, you know, he, he wants to try and um, implement it because mm. he, he knows it's right. And um, you alluded to having a meeting yesterday, and I think you said before the weekend that you were going to wait until after the weekend to have a bit of a strategy, sit down, and, and see where you go from there. Yeah. I mean, what have you concluded? You no, were waiting on Nads and, and Platy, weren't you? It's, it's, just, it's just very positive. You know, we've got a lot of players that we've inquired for. 
um, who, who went to other clubs who, who we're tracking. Uh, we've got a lot of 21s players we're tracking. We've probably got 20 players on our radar that if anything happens to one of the players, um, you know, we can go and get a dip team. We're always in constant contact with with uh, the managers and uh, the coaches at other clubs. So we have genuinely we've got about 22 names that could come in and definitely come in and do a job, not young players. Um, you know, if anything, if anything materialises, so we're definitely ahead of the game in terms of recruitment, um, and, and there's a few things that we're trying to bring to the club that will just give us potentially an extra edge in, mm -hmm. in terms of recovery and performance. Okay. Was well, there any concerns about any of the players that you've got that were coming back from injuries that they might need cover for, or are they all responding quite well? No, they've responded quite well. You know, I've I've just got Keel really, who's a, a medium-term, you mm -hmm. know, injury. Um, so I've, I've got a little bit. Uh, less cover than I'd like uh, as, a, as a defensive point of view but you know you look at notes over the seasons he's had he's made games and Pabs makes games mm -hmm. and Cameron now his, his body's in fantastic uh, <laughs> nick he's you know scary so he's got, so really isn't he <laughs> he's a scary fella to look at because they're doing oh, his age he's he's, he's he's smart and he you know he's, mm. he's he looks he looks pristine at the minute he's pristine uh, and he's staying to that. He wants to be as good as he can be, and, and his performance is uh, he's excelling. Mm -hmm. uh, Louis picked up a knock near the end. Uh, have you got any idea what? what no, we, it's again. It's uh, you know brush down tomorrow. We'll, we'll be in early tomorrow, and uh, we'll assess that one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, Danny may have a bit of a precaution one with Danny, uh, so we'll have a look at that. But just a few sort of bumps and bruises, but two massive shifts. You know the yeah. lads mm -hmm. who's played two nineties there mm -hmm. uh, have played that to an intensity that you know not usually seen and. Uh, like I said, complete and utter mm -hmm. domination in every aspect of football today. Um, we were mentioning before that the results have sort of thrown up this game quite early in the season, isn't it? Uh, to be playing Burton at home for possibly to move to the top. Do you expect that to come so soon? Um, you know, I knew we'd be challenging the top seven. Um, that's where we, we want to be this season. Um, and it's it's so early in the season, mm -hmm. you know, to start be talking about you know top top two challenges and and where we're at. Uh, we, we're very professional as Bert and I, and uh, you know we want to be competitive on Saturday. And uh, I'm looking forward to the game. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I do I love I love going up playing at home. I love playing away from home. You know we've got a group of players that can do either, and uh, they enjoy playing at home. They really mm -hmm. do. Uh, and I think the pitch has been a massive help for that. Yeah. It's it is a, it's, like, it's a carpet. Okay, and uh, John did say at the weekend that it's better to get the points in early than, you know, than have to play catch up. I mean, um, that, that's clearly well, I, I the mean, case. Someone gave me a stat yesterday. You know, it took it took the t t team or Bury sort of November the twelfth or fourteenth to get the same number of points we've got now. You know, mm -hmm. so we we superseding what's going on before at the football club. Um, but you know, you, you can you can get bitten if you don't keep wanting to mm. improve and. One thing I'm, I'm quite good at is spotting complacency from anyone, mm. and uh, if I see that, then you know that's why we had that meeting and make sure that we bring players in that can override that complacency because you know it's a big killer in anything yeah. in any industry. It's a massive killer. As soon as people start watching the clock and start clocking out at a certain time, uh, you know they're not for me. So mm. I've got to make sure that we keep an eye on that. I've got fantastic staff who who, who back me up and work as hard as as, as, as what we do. So you know, I've got to make sure that that that, that playing staff and my staff keep keep driving the thing forward. Okay. Right. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers guys. Thanks.